we have here 1.05 volt is present here because 3.3 volt is here 3.3 volts is here because this channel is good is serviceable is generating 3.3 volts 3.3 volt is here because the input voltage 19 volt is good 19 volt is here because these two MOSFETs are activated correctly do you see the voltage passed through the two switches these two switches receive 19 volts because here the adapter is good generates 19 volts the same my friends for 5 volts the communication between the CPU and the PCH occurred is good because of this voltage this voltage here is okay because of the presence of 5 volt here okay 5 volt is good is present here because this channel is good is generating 5 volt this channel is good because these two MOSFETs are good also I have 5 volt here so 5 volt is here because the presence of 19 volt is in the input correctly the presence of 19 volt is good here because again of the charge circuit is good this switch is lit 19 volt to pass from one side to other side this the first switch also is good as you can see these two switches are good because the input adapter is good i hope that you understand okay guys so if you understand this process you can repair and you can follow any voltage within any motherboard pay attention guys here one probe here one probe in this side and i will go to this channel and look direct connection means 5 volt travel directly to this capacitors in order to be applied to this driver in order to generate the plus vcc core for the cpu the same 5 volts will travel again where to this circuit here okay and 5 volt will be applied to this driver and then we will get here plus vcc core so guys if you didn't get here plus vcc core means what means the problem could be the driver the problem could be the 5 volt is not here if the 5 volt is not here okay by understanding the process you will go where you will go back here to 5 volt channel this is why the process understand understanding the process is good my friends okay the same my friends 5 volt i put one probe here okay one probe here if i go so 5 volt will travel from here to this circuit the first circuit from here to the second circuit nice to generate plus vcc core plus vcc core because these two inductors are for cpu plus 5 volt will travel from here to where here guys to generate here look okay the multimeter ah yes i should put the multimeter here look my friends here we have the 5 volt channel so 5 volt channel will travel from this point okay from this inductor directly to this circuit here do you see okay zero means direct connection from here to here so this the five volt that will be here will be applied to this driver 
okay, will be applied to this driver in order to generate 1.05 volt for buses. Without this voltage, no communication will be occurred between the CPU and the PCH. Okay, so 5 volt from here to here. We will get 5 volt, will be applied to this driver, we will get here 1.05 volt. The proof? I, I show you the proof. Let's connect the adapter. Okay? Please like, my friends, like, don't forget to like the, the, the video. Okay, here is the proof. Let's go back to the voltage, 20 volts, again, nice. Guys, repetition. Without repetition, nothing will be clear. You will not understand 100%. I like repetition, nice. So five volt here, we have five volt, nice, five volt. Five volt will travel from here, to this input, this serum capacitor, we have 5 volt. Good. This 5 volt here in in all capacitors here, input or filtering capacitors, you will find 5 volt. This 5 volt will be applied to this driver. This is a driver. It contains MOSFETs. And then we will get here how much? 1.05 volts. 1.05 volts is for what exactly my friends is for the buses here do you see buses here my friends between the cpu and the pch so if there is no communication between if for example you get a motherboard okay you get a motherboard a failed a data failure okay this is a data failure no communication you will not get any uh, the display will be black okay you get a black display okay you get a black display i will show the process i get a black display because the 1.05 volt hair is missing okay if 1.5 volt hair is missing no communication between the cpu and pch no display so if i if i get no display and i will check here I didn't find here 1.05 volt. So, if you understand the process, you will go and check this capacitor. Is 5 volt here present or not? If 5 volt is present, means the driver is the bad one. If 5 volt is missing here, you should go here, my friend. Go to the motherboard or to the mother channel. 5 volt source here. This inductor here. And this inductor, if the 5 volt is not here, you have to check this MOSFET, this MOSFET, here also we have inputs. Of course, if 5 volt is not here, you have to check this capacitors. Here we have inputs. You have to find first 19 volt here. Without 19 volt here, you will not get 5 volt here. Without 5 volt here, you will not get what? You will not get 5 volt here. Okay, my friend. Without 5 volt here, you will not you will not get 1.05 here. Without 1.05 here. The communication will not occur here okay i hope that you understand my friends please uh, tell me in the comment if you understand the process or not and tell me please if you enjoy the process and if you understand that teaching is more valuable and more important than doing live repair I have received a lot of emails basically and comments asking why I don't do live repair videos like many other channels. The reason why is simple. I'm not just a repair technician. I am a professional hardware instructor and instructors basically are not available while many channels show live repairs done by technicians basically my focus is on teaching you the skills and thinking process behind every repair yes i can repair laptops easily that's part of my expertise it's very simple for me to to repair any laptop in just 20 minutes 
short circuit, no power laptop, charging problem, etc. But more importantly, I know how to teach you to do it too. The truth basically is repeating one laptop on camera using voltage injector, thermal camera, of course, is, is very helpful. But it doesn't teach you how to approach any dead laptop, no power laptop, shorted laptop with confidence. That's why my goal is not just to show repairs, but to guide you step by step and to give you a right process that you can use not just to repair one laptop, but to repair thousands of laptops. So, you can learn how to troubleshoot and fix problems on your own. Teaching is the hard job. And please keep in mind that teaching, the instructor, the hardware professional, hardware instructor like me, can repair, do repair, live repair. But the repairman or technician cannot be instructor, cannot teach the process, how to follow voltages, how to find short etc it's also the one that helps you the most in the long period okay so i hope that you understand now guys i will prove you what i'm seeing right now i will begin from zero to z let's use the process from the from the beginning to the end and then move on to other other thing okay my friends let's do it so you get, for example, a motherboard, a no data motherboard, okay? A no data motherboard or a motherboard with the fan spin about five seconds or maybe three seconds and stops. You check all inductors, you find all voltages are present, except this voltage, for example, except one point, okay, 1.2 for the PCH, okay? If the PCH is not powered, means what? Means you will not get anything in the screen. Nice. So, what is the route or the process you have to follow to find out the problem? Is just check capacitors around the inductor, okay? Here you find 3.3 volts. Okay, let's assume that you check the capacitors, you didn't find 3.3 volts. Means this voltage will not be generated. You should go back 